Jones and the fourth official is Harrison Blair. Here is that Cooper with a poor pass. It's given away to Show Me, and now here's Bingham. Bingham finds Reese Hannum out on the left, inside his own half. Still back to Bingham. Bingham holding off a challenge there as he finds Webster, and Webster goes all the way back to the goalkeeper, being hassled there by Wellens. Billy Bingham manages to find a way out as Tom Smith clears upfield, looking for Arthur's. Arthur's with the header on to Alexander. Alexander heads it down to Bingham. Bingham around the corner for Hannum. Beautiful stuff. Still Hannum here with the crossing towards Cheek in the box. Cheek with her a goal and it's tipped over the bar by Magnus Norman. Each week we seem to be seeing goal of the season contenders in terms of the build-up and that was very almost another one. And uh, Hannum is standing over it. It's maybe just about in shooting range but you'd probably be inclined to put a, a pass or a, a floated ball into the box here. Yeah, it's definitely more of a crossing range. It can cause That's problems with the defenders. That said with the wind, you never know, do you? No. And it is Hannum with the left foot in towards the back post. And it's a simple save for Norman, but he drops it. And then Webster unable to hook it goalwards and just places it wide there. Good opportunity after some questionable goalkeeping there. Hannum is there also. Hannum runs over the ball. Vennings is the man who delivers it deep in towards Webster. Reynolds unable to divert it goalwards. That's a golden opportunity. The outstretched leg of Callum Reynolds missing the ball by inches there. But I just saw Michael Cheek there, just trying to play it back where it came from. If he'd just got a shout from one of his teammates, he could have turned on the back foot and he could have driven at Oldham. And here comes Carrigan out for Oldham, finding Burgess. Burgess with a shot from distance. It just creeps wide of Tom, ha Tom Smith's left-hand post. A good effort there, and he wasn't far off, Burgess. Here's Whiteley now as the throw was taken quickly. Whiteley with the cross in towards the box. Arthur's with the touch. It might fall for Show Me. Omar Show Me buries it into the back of the net from the centre of the box. And it's another goal for Omar Show Me, who is surely going to be contending for top scorer this season at the moment. Another great finish. Well, as, as the ball fell to him, I thought, you know what, if he gets another one here. Arthur's with the touch. It might fall for Show Me. Omar Show Me buries it into the back of the net. Reynolds with the throw down the line towards Cheek. Cheek flicks it on. Alexander with the flick over the top. Cheek will look to get there and can't. It's uh, Vennings who pokes it back round towards Whiteley. Whiteley does well to find Arthurs and keep hold of possession for Bromley. Here's Whiteley again with uh, options in the form of Cheek. Cheek finds Vennings. Vennings round the corner for Arthurs. Good move again from Bromley. Back to Vennings. Back to Whiteley on the edge of the box. Whiteley into Vennings. This is nice from Bromley. Back to Arthurs, across the face of goal, reaches Reese Hannum at the back post, goes for the shot, and into the back of the net, and probably have a second, it's Reese Hannum. Face of goal, reaches Reese Hannum at the back post, goes for the shot, and into the back of the net, and probably have a second, it's Reese Hannum with his second Bromley goal, and it's a great strike, Sharon can't keep it out on the goal line, and Reese Hannum doubles Bromley's lead before half time. It was uh, Luamba who was the man fouled there. Threlkeld with the cross into the box, looking for McGlynn, comes out to the edge of the box, and uh, Luamba might shape up for a shot here. He does shape up for a shot and drills it across the face of goal and wide at the far post. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too sure why he didn't take the shot first time there. He's, he's ended up just working himself the extra half yard, but a little bit wider. And Cooper gets a touch on it, but uh, Arthurs will pick it up. Here's Bingham to Vennings. Vennings trying to get away from them. He finds Arthurs. Arthurs to Vennings. Whiteley was <laughs> thinking he was going to receive yeah. that one. He does now, Corey Whiteley. Shaping up for a shot. Whiteley does go for a shot and it dips just wide. And that one dips really at the last minute, didn't it? It looked like it was rising and just dipping wide at the far post there. So corner to Bromley then and Vennings to take it. Lifts his left arm and drills it in towards the six yard box. Dangerous one at the back post. Oh, Diverted God. into his own net there by Mike Fondop. And it's an unfortunate own goal, but it's a third for Bromley, and it's no less than they deserve. So, corner to Bromley then, and Vennings to take it. Lifts his left arm and drills it in towards the six-yard box. Dangerous one at the back post, oh, diverted no. into his own net there. We speak about those clean sheets that Bromley got at the start of the season, and they defend so so, so solid from every ball that comes towards them. Here's Benny Kuto on the edge of the box, finds Luamba with the shots, and it just clears the crossbar. Tom Smith was scrambling and made the dive, and 
may even have been very close to getting a touch there, but it was a, a good effort from Luamba on the edge of the box. Yeah, nearly a commentator's curse there, saying about the clean sheets, and then Luamba goes and fires one almost into the roof of the net.